So we are working on the HRV system, the heat recovery ventilation. Uh, because our house is so airtight, or it's supposed to be so airtight, hopefully it is, um, we're supposed to have some sort of fresh air intake um, so that we don't suffocate in our own home, I guess. So what the HRV does is it takes um, air from the house, from the bathroom and kitchen and then it brings fresh air in from the outside and the two mix temperatures before the fresh air comes in so on a cold winter day the air that's coming in is um, getting warmed by the air that's leaving before it comes into the house we weren't originally planning on doing this ourselves we did get a quote from an HVAC company but it was something absurdly expensive and when Terry did some research into it it seemed like something that was manageable for us so just like basically everything in this house we're just gonna end up doing it ourselves I'll show you the HRV unit in a minute I'm just finishing up these uh, T's and Y's for the ducting for some reason come made but they're not airtight so you have to paint this um, sealant duct sealant on them so that we don't have air leaks little whistles in all the walls through the house it's funny when i don't really know anything about this H hrv terry's been doing the research and decided on which one to buy and is kind of just leading the installation of it he was explaining it to me and basically all the hrv is is the heart for our house the house is the body and the outside is the lungs which one is what which one brings the <laughs> blood back to the heart <laughs> you can't say <laughs> on camera <laughs> um let's see where's my little key oh here we go so exhaust air to outside number three which is this one. Oh, to outside you want exhaust exhaust inside inside exhaust exhaust air from building is number one which is one? that one yeah so terry's just hooking up the exhaust air for the downstairs Ooh. and then over here you see this little tail hanging down that's where I'm working. I'll show you. So that's the top of that little tail piece that Terry's connecting. This is going to be sort of like a little enclosed bulkhead in the spare room because we have a lot of pipes that need to go places, as you can see. So that's going to go up and over and then over here. Uh, this is going to be the bathroom vent, so that's what I'm working on connecting right now. You can see that the plumber was here. I haven't shown you guys since then. So look, we got a bathtub in our upstairs, shower. Plumbing's in, just waiting for water. Bathroom vanity. And then in this little cubby, we've got... This is a sewer, like a sewer vent. It goes up through the roof. The white one is radon. You can see those both go up and out. And then this insulated one is the HRV exhaust out. And then we've got more plumbing in the kitchen. So this is going to be the kitchen sink and dishwasher and then you can see this is how the plumbing goes for ICF because the drywall just goes right on this wall so the plumbing is just hidden inside and it's starting to look like a house.
extension ladder. Oh, it's on the Okay, what do you need? The stocking? Or? Uh, that black thing, the collar. Uh, do we have to put a piece of plywood here so we're an air barrier around it? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Okay, oh, we're going back. Just looks like that crafting. I thought it was going to be at least metal or something. Is this orange extension cord have power to it? Do you think? Well, we might have to have a controller plugged into this thing before we can. Well, there. Yeah. Okay. There was something. I didn't understand. Use the terminal connector included to conform the electrical connection. See, like, I don't understand. It's all about wall control. It's working. <laughs> Turbo mode. Yeah, so you need the controller, I think, to do. Oh, unit, first, unit first boot. That's the instruction I should have read. Unit first boot. So, first is to close all windows and doors so it can equalize itself. Turn off all exhaust rain to rain to dry our bathroom can. Plug in the unit and wait for the auto balancing procedure. We'll have to reset it when we... Yeah. That's fresher, babe. That's what fresher smells like. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like burning stuff? Mm. Or like, like hot electrical. Really, you know that smell like. 
No, to me it smells like the boat or ocean. Yeah, it does. Oh, I don't like it. You don't like that smell? But it could be like, it makes you seasick, like you're in a cutty cabin of a boat. <laughs> yeah. That's what fresh air smells like, I guess. 